Well, good morning. We are, uh, Carol says I always say, well, good morning. <laughs> well, good morning. <laughs> We've left our campsite at, at East Fork State Park here, just east of Cincinnati. And um, we're gonna drive down to the lake here. I believe there's a dam as well, but we'll find out. So hang in there and uh, we'll see what we come up with. Okay, so we are coming down to the lake here. I guess, yeah, this is East Fork Lake. Yeah, there's the dam across the way. Mm. Oh, go back and stop. Why? Because there was a heron sitting up on the piling. All right, we're coming into the town here of Williamsburg, Ohio. And uh, Carol said she saw a sign that it was uh, founded in 1796. Yeah, oldest town in the county. I don't know what we're gonna see, but I thought I'd just turn it on. Nice building here on the right. Look at the home, yeah, it's got barbecue out there. This is our turn here. All right. Well, we're gonna head down to the river and continue our journey towards Pittsburgh along the Ohio River. All right, see you then. We are in New Richmond, Ohio, and there's supposed to be a historic waterfront up here. The steamboat houses and then the riverboat houses and then this town anyway. Yeah, we drove uh, 23 miles out of our way just to go see some house that's supposed to be like a riverboat. That's a pretty cool building right there on the it's right. Not in this town, but this is a cool town regardless. Man, that house that was on the left too is definitely old. I mean, when you got some of these houses, obviously just look like they're from the 1700s. Oh, well, look at the castle across. I don't know if you guys can see it. Oh yeah. Yeah, look at these great buildings. I mean. The doors open right onto the... Yeah, right onto the sidewalk. No stoop, nothing. I mean, who knows what there was back in the day? Probably a wooden, wooden, wooden walk. walkway or something. All dirt out here. Oh, this looks really great. Yeah, look at these great places. Springer House. It's fantastic. Yeah. Well, it's kind of a short video, but... Oh, this is a historic place too here. Yeah, look at this. Founding of New Richmond. New Richmond. I don't think there's anything else particularly, so we'll see you guys. The next at interesting the next place. place. Yeah. We're in here, Point Pleasant, Ohio. Look at that great building on the right. Oh. U.S. Grant birthplace. Historic site. Grant's birthplace. Wow, look at this great uh, bridge. Stanchions on it. Was Ulysses Grant's birthplace? Yeah. Well, not much to it, but how we cheer. I don't know if you can see off to the right here, all the people camping on the shore, but apparently that's a big deal. They rent those spaces, I guess. Don't know if all year round or just the summer or how it works. Or by the month or yeah. those. Yeah, then they leave their trailers there. So we are driving into the historic town of Moscow, Ohio, established in 1860. And I don't know if you saw that, but there's a whole flock of Canada geese over <laughs> right there. there. But I don't know if there's anything in this town to actually see. That's I was a little reluctant to even turn down here. Oh, nice little church. It's kind of cool church. You'll see this one fairly well when I turn here. Try to stay on the road. I think this one's interesting because of the large steps and you wonder is it built this way in case of floods since we're right on the river here. 
Church of Christ. All right, well, I think that is a tour of Moscow, Ohio. All right, well, this is a heck of a house, isn't it, folks? <laughs> I mean, it's really pretty cool. I don't get a sense anybody's there. Maybe I'll pull up over here because this seems like it's pretty far away, this camera. All right. Oh, it's kind of cool. Canadian geese or Canada geese out in the river. Nice little uh, gazebo down here on the river. Then the steamboat house. I mean, is that cool or is that not cool? Four stories and a buzzard up there. At least four. Might have a basement too. What a great place. It's really cool. We are coming into Higginsport, Ohio. This might be the town to look at right here. Wow, that's pretty cool. The house was on the left there. So here, it looks like there's a nice house coming up. Abandoned, apparently. Right here on the right. Oh. You said you thought there was something back here? Yeah. The big mansion up on the hill there. What was there? Yeah. Seems to be a theme. Mansion on the hill? Mansion on the hill behind the town. Got some kind of a steeple up here. I don't remember seeing that before. I look at the uh, tornado siren up on the building here on the left. The municipal building and fire department. That's like a pretty cool church straight ahead. I just love this old architecture. It's not because they're churches, it's because of the architecture. Wow. I'm not even sure it's a church. Might have been a school. Might have been a school. Wow. Yep. Yeah, Higgins Port. Eighteen sixty. Wow. I like the vulture sitting up on top. There's two of them up there. <laughs> wow. That's great. Stop. Let me go. Let me get out and get a picture of those vultures. Ah, <laughs> uh, the Higgins Port School. What a great place. Unfortunately, it's closed up and has private property signs on it. Got a little vulture action there. Thought those uh, circles up there at the top of the building had an interesting pattern inside. Wonder if that's a stained glass or just a plate of some sort. I don't know what how high I'm getting here that you could see anything in there or not. Or I wish we could go in. Cool. Okay, so we got some shots there of the Higgins Port School. And, all right, so that's going to terminate the uh, Higgins Port for us. We are coming into the town of Ripley, Ohio. Yeah, look at that castle. Oh, we got a castle thing straight ahead. <laughs> Definitely looks like uh, colonial almost style homes and buildings, doesn't it? On the right, pretty cool house. Right on to look at these steps, right on to the street. We've got castles on both sides. Now this is castle thing on the left is obviously some church. 1861, it says. Oh, look at that church up there. This Snappers, Snappers Saloon there on Carol's side. What the heck is that up there? Look at the preacher up there. It's the... a snapper. What's a snapping snapper? turtle? Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. Great little town. It is a great little town. The squirrel hunters at this public library. There's a lot more to see. I don't know what this building is. Pretty cool. Oh, 
like a nice house up here. Wow, pretty cool. One next to it too. And the one next to it. They definitely look like old. Built back period wise. All these character cuts. All right, well, Ripley's, pretty cool. So we are uh, coming into the little town of Manchester, Ohio. A friend of mine said that there was a friend of his family business in town here. There it is, C.E. Kirker, right there on the corner. That's our friend's family's place right there in the corner. Yeah, that's C.E. Kirker. It's a cute town. Another one of these ones that looks very much like 1892 for both those buildings right here. Taxidermy or something inside. I'm going to pull over because I've got people behind me. Honestly, it doesn't look like too many businesses are still in business here. Don't really see anything else. Bottoms up bar. Who's eating treat? You want to eat? Yeah, get that great place. Ah. We'll turn around here and we'll maybe get this church. And we're going to stop and get some lunch. There's a little better shot of that church. Now, we were told that possibly this was a Methodist church originally. And it's old, but we haven't seen the date on it yet. Well, not a Methodist church. First Presbyterian church. December 1st. 1904. All right, so we are still in Manchester here at the Eat and Treat. So I got a bacon cheeseburger and onion rings and a milkshake to split. All right. So the shake here. <laughs> Let's see the chocolate syrup that they put in. So in the burger, besides that onion, <laughs> and it's delicious. Well, the verdict on Eaton Tree. Excellent. 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 Oh, it's so much better than stopping at Taco Bell or McDonald's. It's always great mm -hmm. to stop in these little local joints. They almost always are phenomenal, and this was. All right, well, Portsmouth might be the next town. I'm not sure. All right, so uh, this is... Uh, Buena Vista. I have a feeling not too much to Buena Vista to see. There's a gas station. Well, that was uh I think we visited their Buena. Yes, that was it. All right, got to keep you guys informed. <laughs> All right, so we are in the town of Portsmouth here and there's supposed to be a lot of murals along here. Carol's and got overall a, just a cool street. Yeah. Carol's got a whole bunch on her side. Oh, look at this here too. I don't think we can just go see all of them, but oh. there's where we stop the dairy cream. Oh yeah. yeah. Dairy cream. That's actually it was really good too. Oh Carol, you had a whole bunch of them. Well, we'll get, go back there and do axe throwing. I thought that'd be kind of fun to do. Oh, look at this. I don't know how much of this building you can get on Carol's side here. Yeah, these are all pretty old here. And they just have murals forever down here in a minute. We're going to turn down, I guess, here. For the flood wall murals. The artist Robert Dafford. We probably drove along here to see these murals. Look at all the people walking. Pretty cool. Now these are awesome murals. <laughs> A little bit better than those ones that we saw. I don't remember what town that was. Wow, storm. See how the how they have the lock things that come out. Look 
<laughs> Looks like just looking through at the river there, doesn't it? Wow, these things are amazing. Say, famed artist Robert Spofford. He did all these? Yeah. It's hard to believe one person. And of course, feel free to pause if you want to actually look at something for very long or study it. Man. Hard to believe one man did all these. Guess all the churches in town or something. I love how they're kind of out, a lot of them are outlined in the sepia colored. A slightly different sort of scene. 1903, Robert What's Dafford. It? Oh, okay. These are from the Kentucky side, it says, from somebody's photo collection. She manufactures cool. We probably won't get all of these very well, but it's all right. Julia Marlowe. She's a famous singer. Which is something about Shakespeare. I gotta move over here and let this guy go by. Greyhound Station. I've seen Greyhound Stations like that in California. Branch Ricky. Good birds. I didn't know he was out here. You guys can act like you're walking down the street for us. <laughs> oh, you got a mural. Seattle County Welcome Center. Man. It's amazing how many murals are along here, isn't it? Yeah. Johnny State University, Portsmouth Railroads, 1950. It's huge rail, gray iron casting. Now that that is one thing about this area, is apparently it was really big for iron. I don't know if it's because of you know they had the coal, found iron, and of course you need. Well, I don't know if they made steel here. Obviously Pittsburgh's. Not too far away now. Nation's oldest cycling club. A uh, motorcycle coming right up behind here. Johnny LaMaster, Dale Rice. Don't know any of these people, but I'm not a baseball person, so. All right, well, that was the Portsmouth Murals. Well, I thought I'd share the uh, road out to our camp area, where we're hoping to camp anyway. It's called Paddle Creek Horse Camp. The last time we were here, which I think was like four years ago, main campgrounds, and there's two of them, were closed because the water system failed. Fortunately, a ranger was there and she said, well, you can go out to Paddle Creek Horse Camp. But this road is kind of like a one-way road. And can you imagine running into horse trailers? Look at this road right here. Anyway, it's a great campground. I mean, we loved it. Trigger could run free and... Yeah, so here we are, Paddle Creek National Forest. So hopefully there's not a bunch of horse poop everywhere. Trigger will roll in it probably. Uh, well, if he'll roll in horse poop, he certainly did in that cow poop. Did in the cow poop. There is a restroom, that's good. Yeah, I remember there was a restroom. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, 
you know, we camped over here, and there was the trailer was back in there. I'm thinking we can, you can camp pretty much anywhere you want here. There's some tables back there. There's, a, there's two, some tables over here. I'm gonna park right here in this sunny area. All right, folks, we're going to arrange ourselves here and um, we'll probably see you guys in the morning.